Hey everybody, I'm Amy Holmes bringing you today's hot list from theblaze.com. Award shows are a time of glam, glitter, and more than a little self-congratulation. And often when celebrities gather, politics ensue. Well, last night, the Country Music Awards were no exception. But unlike most fame festivities, the target was the left-hand side of the political spectrum. Take a look at this video burning up at theblaze.com. But usually celebrities aim their cracks to the right, especially if that celebrity is a baseball cap wearing documentarist from Flint, Michigan. Here's Michael Moore accepting an Oscar for his documentary Bowling for Columbine in 2003. We live in a time where we have fictitious ele election results that elects a fictitious president. We, we live in a time where we have a man sending us to war for fictitious reasons, whether it's the fictition of duct tape or the fictitious of orange alerts. We are against this war, Mr. Bush. Shame on you, Mr. Bush. Shame on you. But celebrities don't have to take to the microphone to be heard. Jamie Foxx started attending award shows earlier this year from the Video Music Awards to the BET Awards wearing this Trayvon Martin shirt. But if the viewing audience is lucky, award show politics can be just good-natured, nonpartisan fun. Are any of you voting for Mitt Romney? All right, there's 40 Republicans and the rest godless liberal homosexuals. See, that's why Kelsey Grammer didn't come tonight. It's hard, it's difficult to be a Republican in Hollywood. Being a Republican in Hollywood is like being a Chick-fil-A sandwich on the snack table at Glee. For this story, go to theblaze.com. I'm Amy Holmes reporting to you from the Blaze Newsroom in New York City.